Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper B. Here we're working on question 7, a binomial sequence question. Okay, so as soon as I see the binomial distribution, crack open my formula booklet so that I've got the binomial distribution um, there ready for me. So, expand 1 plus 3x to the power of 8, um, including all the terms up to x cubed. Simplify your coefficients in the expansion. Right, okay, so what I want to do is expand 1 plus 3x to the power of 8. So lining this up with a plus b to the power of n, this is going to leave a as the value 1, b as the value 3x, and n as the value 8. So I'll just go ahead and use my formula up to x cubed. So uh, 8, 1 to the 8 is just... Uh, 1 to the 8, that's just 1, plus uh, n choose 1, so that would be 8 choose 1, 1 to the power of 7, and then it would be times 3x. Add 8 choose 2, times 1 to the power of 6, times 3x squared. So what I've done is now followed this one here. n 8 choose 2. Uh, 1 to the 8 minus 2, that's 6, and b, the whole expression for 3x squared. Make sure it is with brackets, because if you don't put your brackets in, you're going to get the question wrong. It needs to be the 3 squared and the x squared. And then it's going to be plus for the final term, 8 choose 3. What we're doing here is we're using this expression here, where r is the value 3. And we're doing 1 to the 5 and 3x to the power 3. OK, so what we need to do then is just crack our calculator open and write down these values. So the first one's definitely a 1, don't need the calculator for that. This one's going to be 8 times 3, that'll be 24. Next one's going to be 8 choose 2 times 9, which is 3 squared, and that will give us 252 x squared. And the last one is 8 choose 3 times 3 cubed, which is going to give us 1,512x cubed. OK, great. So that's part A complete. Showing you're working clearly, use the first, use your expansion to find to five significant figures the approximation of 1.03 to the power of 8. Right, OK. So um, what we've got here is 1 plus 3x to the 8, uh, equaling 1.03 to the power of 8. So the, the powers of 8 can cancel. Um, if I take away 1 from both sides now, what I'm going to get is 3x equals 0 0.3. And then if I divide through by 3, I'm going to get x equals 0 0.01. OK, so what I need to do with my series expansion there is just to plug in the value of x equals 0 0.1 to find my answer. So for part b, it's going to be 1 plus 24 times 0 0.01. Add 252, lots of 0 0.01 squared. Add 1512 times 0 0.01 cubed. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to write out each term just as it uh, appears, and then I'll add the rest of it together and round to five significant figures right at the end. So this is going to be 1 plus 0 0.24 plus 0 0.0252 add 0 0.001512. Okay, I feel like I've probably gone too far there with my decimal places. Doesn't matter yet, just my final answer needs to be five significant figures. So adding these lot together, I get 1.266712. And then rounding this to five significant figures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Does the 1 round up the 7? No, it doesn't. So this is going to be 1.2667 to 5 significant figures. Okay, great. 7 marks for that question.